Hello everybody, it's Aaron. Welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast. Recently, my programming skills were called into question, and I'd like to refute that claim. Number one, I'm not a programmer. No, number two, there's nothing wrong with my code. I'm going to show you right now. This is Sam's touchscreen. You may have seen it if you watched his little miscraft video he did a day or two ago. Well, basically what I did was... He's got a startup program set now, but before he did that, I made a startup program and it looked like this. Let's just put it on the screen. It says, hey, how much UU do I have? The joke here is that every day I get home from work about two hours before him. And as soon as I log on Skype, the first thing he says is, hey, how much UU do I have? So I thought it'd be funny to put that on here. So in his video, he said I had bad code. And as you can see, it works just fine. There's nothing wrong with my code. So there. That's it. That's all I wanted to show you. It's really easy code. I'm not a programmer. I don't know anything about it. All I basically did was um, I, I cleared the text and then I wrote that. And he did this part when he copied it over from, um, you know, the, the startup program. But I just wanted to show my code does work. There's nothing wrong with my code. So on to what is going on with the bees. I hope this is going to be the last bee episode. I'm going to automate all the bee stuff. And then um, we're going to be done with those. Except for, you know, I'll do some breeding on my own. First, let's go to the bee age. We're not going to live. We're not going to make a base here. We're not going to live here. I changed my mind because I discovered that bees will work near my base. The green hills or whatever I'm in, it's just a little more humid than a regular biome. So I can deal with that. I'll still do uh, mutations and crossbreeding here. But um, I've made a bee base near near the regular base. So we'll go to that in just a second. Um, I have gotten the Edenic bees, which give XP. You can see my XP filling up right now. It doesn't do it very quickly, I guess, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Uh, I've also got the demonic bees still going. And I got the austere bees, and I can't get very close to that. Uh, I had to put a gate and a lamp on there because that has the creeper effect. It'll blow you up. And it actually did blow me up. It was pretty funny. I wish it happened in an episode. It didn't hurt anything around here. It just killed me. So, basically, when the light goes off, the bees are done with their cycle, and I can approach the alveary and rebreed them. I didn't set up any automation, because if I wanted to stop that from, from working, I'd have to get close, and I haven't bothered with the bee suit, so, um, you know, it's fine for what it is now. So I guess before we do this, I need to go to the quarry. By the way, also, Sam was nice enough to give me this cherry tree, which is the one I wanted. I really like the way it looks. I like the leaves. I like the bark. Um, over in the bee age, I, I put a silver lime with some trees by his apiaries, and this just happened to fall. Um, the saplings did, so... I guess I will forgive him for talking trash about my code. Uh, I need to go get the energy bridge and stuff. I put it over here. I made two more quarries with the titanium dust from our bees. And I don't know why this one is... Oh, uh, I guess it has some energy built up. And I don't know why... Um, this didn't do this the other day when I was over here. But anyway, uh, I've never run more than two quarries at a time. I put this one ultimate since we get 210 MJ through the energy bridge. And um, man, it was awesome. My system definitely cannot handle four quarries at the same time. Let me make sure I got that. That. And I need the producer. Um, it cannot handle four quarries at the same time, to say the least. I had at least a, a, a thousand of every ore in the system waiting to be processed. 
But basically what I did, you saw how I had the energy bridge stacked up. The solar panel was on top of that. They, they went vertically on top of the Tesseract. <clears throat> and I just put a gold pipe underneath each of the quarries to get to the Tesseract and everything went in there just fine. So if you're thinking about doing something like this, I kind of offset each one. If you look at it here, this pipe goes with this quarry, this pipe goes with this one, and so on. So it'll work, and they were all max size, and they finished overnight. It was awesome. So we'll come back here. It's probably almost nighttime. I'll show you what I've built. I don't like it, not going to lie. Um, this is basically a dome right now. And I kind of like the dome part. But I don't know how I feel about the rest of it. But basically, my idea was I'd make the dome, and then I'd just make the rest of it kind of a tube, um, which is what it is. And I've also hollowed out down below, and when we back up here, we can see that. It's just a big tube, and I was going to put all the alvearies hanging down through the floor so I can do all the stuff below, and I'll show you that in just a second. And then I figured I'd have... Uh, one alveary here and one here to mutate things. And then I'd have uh, four groups of four for actual production of things that we need. Uh, these are all the valuable bees because um, got to have that iridium. But I can access them from the top. I can access them from the bottom. Um, I'm, all, I'm thinking about getting rid of the path here and... Um, just putting another another row of alvearies in the middle here and then so I'll have let me see two four six eight ten twenty and then so I'll have twenty five of them that is gonna be a nightmare for piping though so I'll just set this up and if I decide to do that then we'll see uh, we'll see how it goes but this is very very much like I did it before. Uh, I've got the router here with the machine filter set to the frame housings. I've got my ME cable running. It's connected to the main AE system and I covered this up with the facades on three sides of it so basically you wouldn't even know it was there. And of course I have an export bus with untreated frames. What I need to do today is set up the, the centrifuge well, I already have those set up. I need to set up the squeezers for the seeds and honey drops and the carpenter to make our impregnated sticks so that we can use um, impregnated frames in here instead of untreated frames because these don't last nearly long enough. But basically for every group of four, I plan on having one tesseract, same setup, everything comes out of the alveary goes through here the bees go back in everything else goes to the tesseract and this is just on my quarry frequency it goes back into the AE system so I want you to look in here we're gonna look at combs I had 34,000 of these last night 34,000 I want you to think about that for a second I now have 2,000 I've had three or four centrifuges working on these overnight. If we look at honey drops, 15,000 honey drops, which is ridiculous. I'm not going to even try to tell you any differently. But basically what I did was I just went ahead and put the centrifuges in here. I made four of them and I put um, one dedicated to Rocky Comb because I had so much and then I put all the metallic ones here and then just kind of spread them out and I have another one which I'll go ahead and put down and then I'll run conduit later if I need to but I figured this is already connected to the system it's not very far away I use an export bus import buses I could use a router to get them all in here but um, I think this works okay I switched the AE system to the steam boilers because I was not generating enough MJ to run uh, all of those MJ machines and the AE system at the same time. 
So let me sleep and then we'll go get working on this. And I want to go ahead and run this thing off solar power. And I figure what we'll do is... I've already kind of made a little hole over here. If we go up here. And actually, right here is probably a better spot for it. Well, maybe. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to put all that stuff over here. And um, kind of hide it, not really hide our solar panel, just kind of set it out of the way. How about uh, we do it right here? And then I'll just uh, fix the wall. Yep, that'll work. So what I'm thinking is, I've already got the ME cable running through there. So what I can do is, I can run the conduit. I kind of wanted to hide it all. Unfortunately, you cannot put um, you cannot put a facade on conduit. I don't think I have a few. We can try it. I don't think it works though. Yeah, it does not work on conduit. Unfortunately, let me get rid of the mining laser. So that is an unfortunate thing. So I'm going to have to run it through the floor. So I figure I can run it through the floor and then I can just run my uh, export buses and import buses uh, through the bottom or through the wall here. Actually, if I put the guys right here, I could probably pull this off. I'll just run the cable down below. Yep, I think that'll work. So we'll do it like that. I figure we'll do a squeezer per thing. So I've got um, I've got to do some honey drops, and I've got to do some seeds. Did I just break that cable? No, I did not. Cool. So I can run the cable down, put another facade right there. You'll never know it's there. No big deal. So let me, um, where's I going to put my, I'm going to run my conduit on this level and put the machines in the wall here. So I need to make a little room for liquiducts too, I guess. All right, so let's just put them. Uh, we'll put them right here. Four and four. Unfortunately, hmm. Okay, well I'll just put the the ME cable on top of them. Then that's really not a problem. And I think I have the liquiducts here. So I'm going to need two of them for the seed oil and two of them for the honey. Let me knock this out for a second. And I'm going to do this part with tesseracts. And I'm going to have to get one of them going before I get the other one going so the liquiducts don't, don't connect. So let's do liquid tesseract here. Actually, let's um, flip those around first, if I can get what I'm doing. And we'll just put a lever beneath each of them. And then liquid tesseract, and let's see, um, we'll do this one for seed oil. make that 800 and that is going to be send only okay 
And I've already made three tanks. I'm going to make the green one the seed oil tank. And I'll just put that guy right there. Seed oil, receive only, set frequency. So what, I'm, what I've done with all of these is I've put, you can see the valve in, in the wall there. We got a valve back here for the input and then I'm going to pull it out of this side. Basically like this. So I haven't decided if I'm going to use four per um, per liquid <laughs> or what. I could set, um, I could actually leave this alone for now and set set the one that goes on the carpenter to receive, but uh, I don't know if I want to do that just yet. And actually what I could do, since that's the only thing I need seed oil for, uh, why don't we put the carpenter right here? We'll throw another liquiduct behind there. So it connects to the carpenter like that. And then we'll put our tesseract right here. So the carpenter actually will get seed oil before anything else right I think I think that's logical and I'm not sure if I put a tesseract actually on this thing if it will put it straight in it so let's do it that way and we'll just go ahead and get these things going and then we'll see we'll see what happens so let me go grab some ME cable and export buses Hopefully I don't need any more than that. And we'll just put the extra squeezer in here. We're going to need um, a seed to set the rule. That melon farm gave me 17,000 seeds overnight. I hooked up my tesseract to it. Not bad. And we'll do one honey drop also for the other one. So we'll do that, that, and we're going to need one on each of those too. I'll go ahead and set the rule. Honey drop, and these two are melon seeds. And then as soon as I put this one here, or wherever I put it, <clears throat> I think I'll just put it right here. It should start sending seeds to these guys. So all we have to do now is give it power, or give them power, and then we'll set up our liquiducts. So let's go ahead and put our power. Where was I going to put that? Can I go right here? I already filled it in. And I think I'll actually put the solar panel flush with the ground. So it's not really sticking up and then hopefully nothing blows it up. That would be tragic. Energy bridge and then... 
that guy. Bam. These guys working. Yes, they are. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around just because that's the way it probably should go. And I'm going to need one more export bus and actually an import bus for the carpenter. Unfortunately, I may have, um, damn, I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be showing. There's going to be an extra block there. Let's see, I wonder if I could put it, ah, uh, who cares? It'll be all right. Maybe. Let's just do it and then I'll dress it up later. Um, let's see if we're getting anything in the tank yet. No. I don't even know if I set the frequencies, but this is going probably going to fill up before that guy even starts working. Nope, it's working. Okay. They're not in my tank, are they? I definitely need to light this place up. So I wanted to get to everything today. I don't think we're actually going to get to it, but that's all right. Uh, this is the same principle I'm going to use for everything. I'm just going to throw it around with uh, tesseracts and stuff. <clears throat> I really just need to get those frames made because... And let's see, we'll do this one, we'll just put it right back there. Or should we wait to put the analyzer? Yeah, maybe we should do that. I think I have it with me. All right, so we'll do analyzer here. That's filling up nicely. Do one more liquiduct, and then we'll put the tesseract showing just like on the other side. So this is going to be for honey. Uh, let's call this one 80, oh, uh, we'll call it 810, maybe. Okay, and let's do this one will be the honey tank. And we're getting honey and wow. That's nice. Alright, so we've got honey and seed oil automatically happening. I might have to put another squeezer on the seed oil because you don't seem to get quite as much as you do from, um, or quite as much from seeds as you do from honey. So here's a, here's a situation. Here's what I think we'll do. I'm going to put a router right here. I'm going to tell it to extract from all these machines. So we get the propolis and we get the sticks from the, um, from the carpenter. Actually, um, I'll put it next to the carpenter. That'll probably be better. So we'll just put this tesseract back here and make it unseen. That's a uh, seed oil. Send only. We don't need to see this anymore. So that router may be a solution to the problem. So I'm going to need to put an export bus on the bees. <clears throat> and then I think I could probably get away with maybe putting my extra bee machines right here. And um, putting a tesseract with the liquid DNA and stuff for the two machines that need it. That actually might work out really, really well. So what am I going to need? I'm going to need two more export buses and a router. So let's do that. Let me look at my time. 25 minutes. I'll try to hurry this up. Um, 
what do I need? <clears throat> I don't think I have any routers in here. Oh, I do. Cool. And I'm going to need an import bus also. I can't wait until the update where you can right click to clear this thing. That's going to come in so handy. Uh, what are we going to need? We're going to need one of these. Oh, and we have to set the recipe as well. Since it's a forestry thing. Alright, so let's do export bus right here. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, I may have to move that guy. <laughs> I may have to move that guy over even, even further, or maybe I can just put him up there. That's what I'll do. Because I need a place to put, no, I mean, I, mean, I think I can pull that off. See how many times I can break and replace the same um, same tesseract. So this one we're gonna need the import bus, and that's gonna connect just like that. So we're gonna say extract from. Well, top side's got all of our propolis, which is good. Uh, we need to set a recipe in here. Uh, we have to left click, impregnated stick, and then we put this in here this guy should fill up and I don't know where the router let's do from no that's not it from bottom alright so bottom of the forestry the carpenter works this one we're gonna have to wait and see if any Stupid forestry. Man, that sucks. And you cannot leave the propolis in there because uh, I think the machine will jam up at some point. Um, it would have been awesome if that took from whatever from the same side. That's probably, let's try... Um, South is no good. North, east, no, west. Can't do slot zero. So I'm going to have to put a separate router for these guys. Probably with a machine filter. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway. Um. But I can put my facades right here and on top, and guess what? You don't see any of that stuff. I kind of wanted to make it blend in or just be in the wall. Mostly succeeded. So what I think I'll do is I'll put the extra B machines all right here. I have five of them. Um... This is going to melt the bees, and we're going to take the bees out of the bottom, or out of whatever side, I guess. Maybe that'll maybe they'll come out of the top of that with a router. Maybe import bust that, and then um, melt them down in the the gene pool. So I guess we'll do that part next episode. I wanted to get more done, but I don't want to run really, really long. So what this ought to look like when it's done is something like this. So everything just fits nice and neat in the wall. That's my goal. So we'll see if I can pull it off. The important thing is we've got honey going. I'm not really worried about that seed oil as much as I'm worried about our impregnated sticks. Because um, I'm not sure if I have a, a recipe for that or not. Let's see. Of course, I don't have inventory space. 
Uh, I do not. So I'm going to make a recipe or a pattern for the uh, impregnated frame and then I'll send impregnated frames to everything instead of using these stupid guys. So that'll do it for this episode. I'm going to make a couple changes to the way that thing looks and figure out what to do about the router situation right there. And then next time we'll do the advanced bee machines and the gene pool and make some liquid DNA for those guys. And then um, basically I'll just have to decide what bees I want to run in the alvearies. And I'll have to set up those too. So that'll do it for this episode. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you're interested in seeing a very basic tutorial about how to get from the hive bees to the noble and industrious bees uh, so you can make, or the branches, so you can make uh, imperial or royal jelly and uh, pollen, let me know and I'll throw one together. Uh, other than that, I'll see you next episode. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then.